Runners all at the start now for the town plate. We have flag start, so good luck to anybody taking part in this. And if you're having a bet, I know one or two of the bookmakers have priced it up. You can see a few prices here. Flax and Flair appears to be the favourite. Former Cheltenham Festival winner. The man who knows what it takes to win the town plate, Derek Jackson. He's won it twice in the past. 2007 on lease and 2010 on Cape Secret. Can he add a third town plate to his CV? Won't be too long now. This race over three and three quarter miles. Flag start's going to be. Runners are at the start then. Flax and Flair looks like he's favourite to win it. Number one, number two, Vont de Force for Mick Motherno. Mick, of course, successful trainer. We've got Royal C in the race as well. He's trained by Mick and ridden by Gemma Mathers. Gemma, a programme manager from Cheshire. Line Mason, who was the first one down. Stephen Turner rides. He's a man very competent at show jumping, Stephen. Adder Peak, number five. Michael Gates won the town plate in 2014. Can he land another success? A certain Frankie de Tori has joined the starter down there for this famous race. Great to see Frankie taking part in this historic event on the starter's rostrum. This is it. The town plate, the 349th running off. And it's moments away. Starter is about to raise his flag. In fact, he's done it right now. We're almost ready. Robbie Supple has let them go. They're off for the 349th running of the Newmarket Town Plate, three and three quarter miles. And they race through the first furlong or so. One of the first to show is Line Mason, who's up there in the grey with a maroon cap, and also Mrs. Robin. These two going off pretty quick. It was a three and three quarter mile race, but these two have gone tearing off Line Mason up front with Mrs. Robin in second. Ten lengths back to Right of Reply, who's racing in third place. Behind Right of Reply is the favourite Flax and Flair, the dark blue and yellow colours, former Cheltenham Festival winner. Behind those, we have Drive Home Regardless and Lisa Dix in the blue colours. Next in the field is Royal Sea, without wider add a peak and really unique in the light blue and brown silks. And then Vaughn de Force, who's being held up at the rear of the field in the beige with the dark green cross belts. And then comes Stripe of Honour. Elysian Prince is further back at this stage as they disappear from view and race out into the country for the town plate. And they were being led by two of them. Lime Mason had gone off in front with Mrs. Robin. These two at the head of affairs. Lime Mason, ridden by Stephen Turner, was out in front for trainer Derek Shaw. And he was alongside Mrs. Robin written by Patrick Chesters. Patrick, who's an independent bookmaker and head of gaming at Bangor and Chester Racecourses. He's ridden twice before Patrick Chesters in this Newmarket Town Plate. He finished third back in 2016. The gap is about eight lengths. Back to Flax and Flair, who shows in third place. Flax and Flair for Gordon Elliott, written by Derek Jackson. Derek, who's an accountant. 
has won this race twice before and Flaxen Flair knows about winning. He won the 2013 Fred Winter Juvenile Hurdle at the Cheltenham Festival. Racing in fourth is Right of Reply, ridden by Tim Gredley, a former international show jumper. He won this race last year, did Tim? And he's on board Right of Reply for trainer James Owen in the famous Gredley colours. They've been carried by the likes of User Friendly down the years. That was the front four when we saw them going into the country. Next in the field was Ada Peak and Michael Gates, who was ahead of Royal Sea. And then came Morland's Mist for Sarah Ender, who was in the white with the blue spots. The red cap drive home regardless was next in the field from Stripe of Honor for the farrier John Day, who was third in the new market plates in 2015. Celebrating his 30th birthday this weekend. John Day on Stripe of Honour. Good luck to him. Royal Sea was next in the field when we last saw them. Then came Vaughn de Force and Mick Mullineau, the trainer, who, of course, trains three in the race and rides Vaughn de Force. Elysian Prince was right at the back with really unique for Phil Lutman. Phil has ridden in a few charity races before. Remember, Sheikh Farhad himself won this race two years ago. This is a famous race. The 349th running of the Newmarket Town Plate. And they're about to appear back into view. Here we go. And it's still Lime Mason and Mrs. Robin, who were clear when we left them, and they're still clear. Elysian Prince racing in third place. Flax and Flair in fourth, the yellow sleeves. Next in the field is the grey Moreland's Mist. Behind Moreland's Mist is right of reply. At a peak is next in the field, the white and green colours. Three lengths back to find Vaunt de Force under Mick Mullineau. Five more lengths to find Royal Sea. Another gap then to pick up Stripe of Honour. Another gap to Really Unique. And the one that's struggling is Drive Home Regardless. The 12-year-old is a long way last and just becoming a little bit detached. Drive Home Regardless as they race inside the final two miles. So they're just about halfway now. Just past the two-mile, two-furlong start, in fact. So approaching the halfway stage. And up front, we have a new leader because Elysian Prince and Morris McCarthy has come forward. Now, Morris has got a wealth of experience in race riding has been riding for over 15 years and he rides for the first time in the town plate and he's now stretched on Elysian Prince for trainer Newmarket trainer Neil King has gone 10 clear to Mrs. Robin racing in second the dark blue the early leader Lime Mason just struggling a bit now back in third Flax and Flair given a quiet ride so far by Derek Jackson is back in fourth the head of right of reply further back to find Royal Sea and then Vaunt de Force and add the peak and stripe of honour from Moreland's Mist and really unique and still detached is Drive Home regardless. They're strung out across Newmarket as they race for the final mile and a half. And this leader is Elysian Prince and he's gone clear now. They've got a mile and six furlongs to go. They've just gone past a mile and three-quarter start in the 349th Newmarket Town Plate. And the clear leader is Elysian Prince. He must be 12 lengths ahead. Flax and Flair, the favourites, gone into second place now. The yellow sleeves for Derek Jackson. Racing in third is Mrs. Robin, the dark blue for Patrick Chesters. Just moving up is Sarah Ender and Morland's Miss, the grey. On the outside of Adder Peak, the cheap pieces of right of reply is next in the field, the yellow colours. On that one's inside is Vaunt de Force, the beige and dark green. Then a gap to Stripe of Honour and a big gap back to find really unique, who's just struggling a little bit. And Lime Mason, who was up there early, has dropped away. And the one that's last is Drive Home Regardless. Beginning the next turn, the final turn in the race that brings them towards the final mile of their journey. And up front is still Elysian Prince, who's gone for home a long way out. About eight clear. Flax and Flair, though, reducing the margin now with Vaunt de Force. And all of a sudden, Elysian Prince is coming back to them as quickly as he went away from them. And they're in line for home now. Elysian Prince has been reeled in by Vaunt de Force and Mick Mullineau. Towards the rails is Flax and Flair. Next in the field, we have Morland's Mist, who's not that far away. Behind Morland's Mist, we have Ada Peak, who's... Not that far away either in the white and green. Then comes right of reply, just niggled along by Tim Gredley, last year's winning rider. From the back, trying to stay on his stripe of honour, and then a big gap to Mrs. Robin. But it's Vaunt de Force and Mick Mullineau out in front. And he leads, 64 years of age, Michael Mullineau, and he leads the field in the town plate with half a mile to go. Vaunt de Force in front to Flax and Flair in second. In third is Morland's Mist and Sarah Ender. In fourth is Adda Peak in the white and green, who's getting closer for Michael Gates, the 13-year-old horse Adda Peak, as they race with three furlongs to go in the town plate. It's Vaunt de Force in front, Mick Mullineau leading to Flax and Flair and Derek Jackson looking a big danger now towards the rails. He's coming there very strongly on Flax and Flair as they race down for the final quarter mile. So it's on the right, Vaunt de Force. On the left, Flax and Flair. Vaunt de Force, though, still has a kick. 
He still has the lead with a furlong and a half to go in the plate. And Vonta Force is running away from Flax and Flair. At a peak back in third, Morland's missed in fourth. But it's Vonta Force entering the final furlong. And the veteran, Mick Mullineau, he's going to be 64 years of age a few days ago. He's going to win the plate. Vonta Force is streaking away. Vonta Force wins the 349th running of the new market town plate. Second, Flax and Flair. Back in third, Adder Peak. Fourth, Morland's missed. Then came right of reply, looking back to Stripe of Honour, who will be next. But well done to the trainer, Mick Mullineau, who's won the town plate on number two, Vaunt de Force. First, and number two, Vaunt de Force. Second, and number one. Third, number five. And the fourth placed horse, and number seven. The full result of the 349th running of the Newmarket Town Plate. First, number two, Vonda Force. Second, number one, 